I'm John Sheeman in Port St. Lucie. I'll talk with the chief of police about his officer's actions the night that Trooper Zachary Fink was killed. Port St. Lucie Police Chief Richard Del Toro remembers getting the call in the middle of the night. So right from there, we just knew it was going to be all hands on deck at that point. Reports released to us outline the efforts made to save lives after a semi truck and the vehicle of Trooper Zachary Fink collided on I-95. Provided first aid to Trooper Fink and attempted to provide first aid to the driver of the tractor trailer. While three officers worked on Trooper Fink, another three tried to revive the driver of the semi truck. Chief Del Toro says after a tragic and intense situation like this, the department has critical stress debriefings and peer to peer counseling. It's important, you know, to meet with the officers the next day um, just to show them that we support them, making sure they're okay, number one, because they can't help anybody unless, you know, they're okay to begin with. Several of the officers who rushed to the scene went to Trooper Fink's funeral on Monday. We're not robots, we're human beings. We just have the honor and privilege to do this job, uphold the laws, serve people but they get to see a lot of bad things. The chief says his police force, along with other law enforcement agencies, pulled together in the aftermath. Although it was a tragedy, it was something I was very proud to see this department and the other agencies working together, coming together to, to capture the suspect. The chief also plans to institute a new officer wellness program sometime later this year. In Port St. Lucie, John Shaneman, WPTV News Channel 5.